There's a concept known as media, another known as opinion making. They are all seamlessly tailored into this cloth, a fabric, beautifully colored, picture perfect, a mix of only perfect pictures telling one side of a story, lies, 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 lies. Create a malady or perpetuate it, then develop a quota cure for it. Image heroic. Ask for votes, more votes. When people ask why, point at the quota cure. Santa epo wabomba. Sound familiar? This is us and our politics. Election results must stop being announced in the night. Let's try mornings or noons, because those night results have less right in them, less light in them, and just maybe that is why democracy and politics are what devils they are here in Africa. We are led to vote freely, we are made hungry, very hungry enough to vote freely for whoever gives us food. Food that lasts only for a day or a week. And we thank them for we think they thought of our children whose tummies now sunk in resemble deflated promises of our government, of campaign promises. But care, do such people really care? Do such governments really care? Farming inputs sometimes come on time, other times late. Like rain, they have a god we need to worship before they appear. This god requires future votes, many votes, because how else will he continue blessing us if he is not god anymore? We think they care. After all, we think they think of poor widows whose sole survival scheme is breaking the ground and burying seeds for them to, to become food, fruit, food. But care. Do such people really care about us? Do such governments really care about us? Allow a few people to die of hunger, make a long boring speech about how the rest won't die because food is abundant on your table, that the clever will nourish until their cheeks, their cheeks learn how to sparkle and their bellies how to protrude on pregnancy, that the clever should sell their voters cards to miss a trip into the future and remain home at least with a sack of milly meal. That the cleverest of all these fools, fools must not even register to vote, but should beat up whoever has registered to vote with intent to vote the other way, in exchange of a big brown bottle of chibuku and an oversized t-shirt. Create a malady or perpetuate it, then develop a quota cure for it. Image heroic. Ask for votes, more votes. When people ask you why, point at the quota cure. Santa Epo Wabomba. Sound familiar? This is us and politics. Scratch my back and maybe I'll scratch yours. That is politics 101. Control their desires, their hunger, and you control them. That is politics 102. So, make them believe you're working for them. That is politics 103.